Octopath Traveler 2 has been out for a bit now. However, there are still new players playing the game every day. So, I want to talk about three things many of you might have missed or might not have known about on your first run through the game. And, we're going to start off with how day and night cycles are more than just a cool new feature added to the sequel. Every town you come across will have a few side quests you can do. When talking to these NPCs, you'll likely be a bit confused because they don't really give you any direction on where to go or what exactly you're looking for. This is where the day and night cycles come in. You want to have a way to learn information from the other townspeople around town, such as Oswald. During the day, he can scrutinize and learn information or have people tell him where secret items are. If you want information during the night, you'll need someone like Timonos for his coerced path action. Now here's the confusing thing. Some people only show up at night and some only during the day. Or they're in different locations during the day or night. So just keep this in mind when doing side missions or just wanting to collect items because this can be a bit confusing. There will be certain parts of your journey you will have to choose between an option A or an option B. While these don't really have any specific advantages or disadvantages to your playthrough, it can change how you understand certain characters and their personal journey. I just wanted to point this one out for you to be aware of while on your journey. Save often and when you come across one of these, Pick one and then reload your save and you can pick the other. That way you can experience both and not miss out on anything story-wise. Before we continue, did you know that the word Timonos is a term derived from the Greek word Timno, meaning I cut, usually described as a piece of land cut off, dedicated to a god, referencing Timonos' link to the church and his holy attacks. If you didn't know this, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And finally, as you play the game, you'll come across NPCs, and some of these NPCs may disappear and any items they have with them will go with them. These NPCs will not return, so if you're one of those people who want to be thorough, you want to make sure you encounter every NPC you come across. Plus, some of these have some pretty good items you can mug or buy, making it a cheaper way to obtain gear and weapons. So those were the three missable things I found on Octopath Traveler 2 so far. If there's anything else to be missed or anything you'd like me to go over in a simple explanation, let me know below. And check out this video on how to quickly and easily get money in Octopath Traveler 2. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.